I think that I, from what I've learned and as I look back on my life, everything in life is about timing. Yes. It really is about timing, the right time, the right place, the right everything. And, and I also believe that you create your own timing yes. in life too. Um, You're really lucky when you work your ass off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's, the, the thing is, everybody, <clears throat> what's the worst thing that can happen if you try? If, if the day that I walked out of that hotel, right, and I went to do this, it doesn't work out. I can go back and be a bellman again yeah. whenever I want to. You can always go back and do that. The worst part is not trying. Yeah. You have to try. Nobody's ever going to do anything without trying. Yes, sir. Last and question. guess what? It's never the right time. It's never the right time. It's like, I can't now. I, 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 I got this truck I just bought. I got payments on this friggin' thing. You know, I, I got this. If you do that to yourself, you'll never do anything. Forget the truck. Forget this. Forget that. Go for it. Just go for it. Believe me, I'm living proof that it can happen. <laughs> Partly what you're trying to do in the future authoring process is say, okay, well, what's your highest value? Right? It's the star. It's like, okay, what are you aiming for? You can decide, man. But, you know, there's some criteria. It should be good for you. It should be good for you in a way that facilitates you moving forward. Maybe it should be good for you in a way that's also good for the family and the community. It should cover the, the domain of life. I mean, there's constraints on what you should regard as a value, but, you, but within those constraints, you have the choice. You have choice. Well, the thing is, is that people will carry a heavy load if they get to pick the goddamn load. So, and they think, well, I won't carry any load. It's like, okay, fine, but then you're like the sled dog that doesn't have a sled to pull. You're just gonna, you're gonna tear pieces out of your own legs because you're bored. You know, you need, people are pack animals. They need, they need to pull against a weight. And, and that's not true for everyone. It's not true particularly, say, for low conscientious people. I mean, maybe they're open and creative or extroverted or some other things. But for the, for the typical person, they, they, they'll, eat they'll eat themselves up unless they have a load. This is why there's such an opiate epidemic among uh, dispossessed white middle-aged guys who are unemployed in the US. It's like they lose their job, they're done. Right? They despise themselves. They develop chronic pain syndromes and depression. And the chronic pain is treated with opiates. It's like, that's what we're doing. So, yeah, that's what it looks like to me. You, you have to, and it's so interesting to watch the young men when you talk to them about responsibility. They're so goddamn thrilled about it. It just blows me away. It's like, really? That's what's, that's the counterculture. Grow the hell up and do something useful. Really, I could do that? Oh, I'm so excited by that idea. No one ever mentioned that before. It's like rights, 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 rights. Jesus, it's, it's, it's appalling. It's, it, and, and I feel that that's deeply felt by the people who are, who are coming out to, to listen to these sorts of things too. They're, they've had enough of that. So, and they better have, because it's, it's a non-productive mode of being. Responsibility, man. That's where the meaning in life is. Uh, you need to work, if you, if, depending upon how well you want to do, particularly if you're starting a company, you need to work super hard. So what, what does super hard mean? Um, well, when my brother and I were starting our first company, uh, in, instead of getting an apartment, we just rented a, a small office and we slept on the couch. Uh, and we, we showered at the, the YMCA and uh, we're, we're so hot up we had just one computer. So the, 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 the website was up during the day uh, and I was coding at night seven days a week, all the time. Um, and I, I uh, sort of briefly had a girlfriend in that period, and in order to be with me, she had to sleep in the office. So, uh, work hard, like, it, it, I mean, every waking hour. That's, that's the, the thing I would, I would say, if, if you, particularly if you're starting a company. Um, and, I mean, if you do simple math, say like, okay, if somebody else is working 50 hours and you're working 100, uh, you'll get twice as done as much done in the course of a year as the, as, uh, the other company. Uh, the, the other thing I'd say is that um, if, if you're creating a company or if you're joining a company, uh, the most important thing is to, uh, attra is to attract great people. So either be with, join a group that's amazing that you really respect or if, you, if you're building a company, you've got to gather great people. I mean, all a company is is a group of people that have gathered together to create a product or service. 
And so depending upon how talented and hardworking that group is and the degree to which they are focused uh, cohesively in, in a good direction, that will determine the success of the company. So do everything you can to, to gather great people uh, if, if you're creating a company. Um, then I'd say focus on, on signal over noise. Uh, a lot of companies get, get confused. They, they spend money on things that don't actually make the product better. So, for example, at, at Tesla, we've, we've never spent any money on advertising. Um, we, we put all of the money into R&D and, and manufacturing and design to try to make the car as good as possible. Um, and uh, I, I think that's, that, that's the way to go. So for, for any given company, just can, can keep thinking about are these efforts that p people are, are expending, are they resulting in a better product or service? And if they're not, stop those efforts. Um, and then the, the, the final thing is, is to sort of, is, is don't, don't just follow the trend. So um, you may have heard me say to, to, that it's good to think in terms of the, the physics approach of first principles, uh, which is rather than reasoning by analogy, you boil things down to the most fundamental truths you can imagine and you reason up from there. And this is a good way to figure out if, if, if something really makes sense or if it's just what everybody else is doing. Um, it, it's, it's hard to think that way. You can't think, think that way about everything. It takes a lot of effort. Uh, but if you're trying to do something new, it's the best way to think. Um, and that framework was developed by, by physicists to figure out counterintuitive things um, like quantum mechanics. So it's really a powerful, powerful method. Um, and uh, anyway, so that's, and, and then I think that the final thing I would encourage you to do is now is the time to take risk. Uh, you don't have, <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't have, you don't have kids, but, but as you, as you get older, your obligations increase. So you, the, and once you have a family, you start taking risk not just for yourself, but for your family as well. It gets much harder to uh, do things that might not work out. Um, so now is the time to do that uh, before, you, before you have those obligations. So I would, I would encourage you to take risks now. Do something bold. Um, you won't regret it. Thank you.